I declare this to be a ceremony authorised by the Council of La Trobe University, at which I shall, with the authority of Council, confer the degree of Doctor of the University. Please be seated. It's certainly a great privilege to be here today and to be conferring the Doctor of the University on the Honourable Michael Kirby. And when you hear the citation, you will understand that his um, background speaks for itself. The thing that's always interested me, if I may, sir, is the way in which the larger vision, the attention to detail and the laws, the policy areas and yet the individual have come together in a lot of your thinking. I remember reading somewhere, I can't remember who said it, but it does sound a little Pollyanna-ish, but nonetheless, it's a truism. And when one thinks of some of the situations we're facing in our present country at the present time, it's even more so that if we can it says, keep one heart from breaking, and you can interpret it in university terms and say, if we can ensure that one individual has an opportunity, then it goes on to say, we will not live in vain, then our policies and our actions will marry. And that is what I think I've gained by reading something of what you've written, and I confess to not having got to the age this morning yet, but in other things you've written, and in an understanding, perhaps just a, a little bit from the far field of the work that you've been doing in human rights, in a whole range of things that concern many individuals. I will now call upon the Director for the Centre of Dialogue, Professor Joseph Camilleri, to deliver the citation for the award of the degree Doctor of the University to the Honourable Michael Kirby. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Honourable Michael Kirby is one of the most distinguished jurists in Australia and arguably in the world as well. At the time of his retirement from the High Court of Australia in 2009, he was then the longest serving judicial officer in Australia. He's also one of the most prolific writers Writings in his excuria capacity, as well as a public intellectual, include five monographs and over 300 articles and reports. As a jurist, Michael Kirby is perhaps the best known judge in Australia. Recognised by the Life Achievement Award of the Australian Law Awards in 2005. He is one of the most visible advocates for justice and human rights in Australia. Michael Kirby holds the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Master of Laws, Bachelor of Economics from Sydney University. He started his career by practicing as a solicitor and then as a barrister. In December 74, he was appointed as a Deputy President of the Australian Conciliation and Arbitration Commission. And in 1983, as a judge of the Federal Court of Australia, making him the youngest person to be appointed to federal judicial office. In 1984, he was appointed President of the New South Wales Court of Appeal. He held that position until 96, when he was appointed a Justice of the High Court of Australia. Previously, he had served as the inaugural Chairman of the Australian Law Reform Commission from 1975 to 1983. Since 1978, Michael Kirby has been extensively involved in a number of international organisations and their activities including service, serving as chairperson in expert groups, as advisory member and in other capacities with the OECD, UNESCO, the Ethics Committee of the Human Genome Organization in London, the inaugural Global Commission on AIDS of the World Health Organization, UNAIDS, UNAIDS Global Reference Panel on HIV, AIDS and Human Rights, the Executive Committee of the International Commission of Jurists, the International Labour Organization and Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations for Human Rights in Cambodia. Michael Kirby has received many awards 
and has been honoured with many distinctions, including the Australian Human Rights Medal in 91, 10 Most Creative Minds in 97, named by the Bulletin magazine, Laureate of the UNESCO Prize for Human Rights Education in 98, Top 10 Public Intellectuals in 2005, named by the Sydney Morning Herald, one of the 100 most influential Australians ever in 2006, named by the Bulletin. The Prix Yves Pellissier of the International Academy of Law and Mental Health in 2003, and the Lifetime Achievement Award of the Australian Law Awards in 2005. In June of last year, he won, as a co-winner, the, the Gruber Justice Prize for 2010 at uh, New York. Michael Kirby has always also received many honours, including appointment as a Companion of the Order of St Michael of St George and as a Companion of the Order of Australia in 91. Honorary degrees of Doctor of Letters, honorary degrees of Doctor of Laws and honorary degree of the University from the University of Newcastle, the University of Ulster, James Cook University, Macquarie University, the University of Sydney, the National Law School University of India, Buckingham University, the Australian National University and the University of South Australia. At La Trobe University, Michael Kirby has a long association with the School of Law, especially the school's journal, Law in Context, the inaugural issue of which he launched some 25 years ago. His most recent involvement uh, with the law school was the launch of a new book and the celebration of 25 years of the journal's publication in 2008. Uh, Michael Kirby is the patron of the University Centre for Dialogue. In 2008, he was the keynote speaker for a major international conference co-sponsored co by the Centre for Dialogue, and in July 2010, he launched Professor Camilleri's new book, Worlds in Transition. Chancellor, in recognition for his outstanding contribution to law and to La Trobe University, I present to you for the award of the degree Doctor of the University, the Honourable Michael Kirby. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sylvia. Vice-Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellors, uh, Professors of the University, uh, distinguished guests and friends. Thank you very much, Chancellor, for conferring this degree upon me. It's a special pleasure for me to receive it from you, knowing, uh, as we both do, that this will be the last ceremony in which you preside as Chancellor of La Trobe University after your most distinguished service as Chancellor, as a member of the Council for so many years. And I want to acknowledge the presence here today of Professor Nancy Millis, a companion of the Order of Australia, former Chancellor of the University. It's a special pleasure to be uh, helped to this occasion by two such distinguished Australian women and Chancellors and I am very grateful, Chancellor, for your public service, your service to our community, your ongoing service to education. And on behalf of all the alumni of La Trobe University who have passed through your hands, a safe pair of hands, I might say, I want to express as an alumnus my thanks, my appreciation, my best wishes, and my expectation that you will continue to be strongly associated with this wonderful institution. I want to thank also the Vice-Chancellor for his warm welcome to me to the campus. We had a most interesting discussion about economic history, about the role of the corporation in the success of the uh, economic system, and about the gift of lawyers to an original idea. We don't often have them, but in the, in the case of the corporation, lawyers actually were most inventive and created a way of getting people to give their money 
without the risk that if things went bad, they could be pursued forever. Uh, and that uh, differentiation between the corporation and the shareholders was a brilliant invention of the law, which all goes to show that sometimes when we strain very hard, we can come up with new and original thoughts. I'm very proud of this new link with La Trobe University. I was thinking as I came in here this morning and saw this beautiful campus, save perhaps for the campus of the University of Western Australia, I think, and I've always thought, this campus is the most beautiful in the nation. So many of the campuses of universities in Australia have been destroyed by horrible buildings which have been erected, no doubt, uh, because vice-chancellors of the day uh, recommended to building and grounds committees of the day that they were absolutely essential. But at La Trobe, the succession of vice-chancellors have been defensive of the campus, and I hope it will always be so. To come in here this morning to see the beautiful Leonard French glass works with the beauty of the campus beyond was a really wonderful experience once again. It always is.